Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic week. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce you to my Sim, Heather. I love her, she is so pretty. But here's the twist. She's about to move into a quaint country home with barely a penny to her name. I've downloaded the Foster Family mod by Little Sam because I was getting a bit tired of the same old Sim storyline. So I thought, why not spice things up a bit? And what better way to do that than by becoming a foster mother in a cozy little farm? So stick around and who knows what kind of mischief we'll get into or what adorable moments we'll encounter. So Heather has officially settled into her new home. And let me tell you, she's kicking things off with a bang. We've got stables for her beloved horses because let's face it, Heather's a bit of a horse fanatic. And who needs a massive mansion when you've got all the essentials, right? We've got a cozy little setup with everything we need, a garden to grow some epic crops, a shed, and even a chicken coop for some feathery friends. So we just need to sign up to the Foster family network on the computer and see where we go from there. I forgot how simple this mod was. All Heather had to do was click sign up to the Foster network and click on your preferred options and that's it. It says that they will reach out. While we eagerly awaited news from the Foster family network, Heather decided to dive into farm life. She rolled up her sleeves, grabbed her bucket and got down to business, tending to our beloved farm and its quirky inhabitants. And first up on the agenda, milking and cleaning Craig the cow. Finally got a message from the Foster Family Network and Heather left to collect Jewel. Of course, Heather welcomed Jewel him into our cozy abode. And the best part, Jewel was a child, which meant Heather could keep living her vibrant life without missing a beat and getting paid weekly as well. Talk about a win-win situation. The Foster Children's Bedroom might be small, but it is all Heather can afford right now. We've got a bed fit for a child, a toddler and an infant. We also got all the essentials to keep those little ones happy and healthy. Now let's talk about the backyard. A ball pit just waiting to be transformed into a magical castle and plenty of space for endless games of tag. It's like stepping into a fairy tale wonderland. Hold on to your hats, folks, because Heather's kitchen's about to become a culinary masterpiece. Just kidding. A quick meal to feed Jewel because I bet he is starving. Heather then got another message this time. It's about a furry friend in need of a loving home. Without skipping a beat, Heather springs into action. Ready to welcome a four-legged friend because when it comes to spreading love and kindness, there's no such thing as too much. And look at Jewel doing his homework. He is honestly such a good kid and so easy to look after. Oh my God, you guys, I cannot. How cute is this puppy? Say hello to Spatula, the newest addition to our furry family. I mean, seriously, just look at that face. Could he be any cuter? I'm starting to realize that fostering pets might be a tad more challenging than I bargained for. I mean, who could resist those puppy dog eyes, right? But then again, with a name like Spatula, you know this little furball is about to stir up some mischief in the household. Isn't it just heartwarming to see the bond forming between Heather and Spatula? It's like they're two peas in a pod, destined to be best buds forever. Spatula's got that irresistible charm that just melts your heart. But let's not forget Jewel, Heather's always got her finger on the pulse, checking in to make sure he's settling in okay. After all, fostering isn't just about providing a roof over their heads. It's about creating a loving, supportive environment. And thank goodness for that handy dandy mod, am I right? Being able to check in on Spatula and Jewel's needs. She only got paid 500 simoleons weekly allowance for Jewel, which is okay to start off with, but hopefully the funds will go up more when more foster children and pets start coming in. It does look like it will be hard to give Spatula to another family. Of course, memories are made to be tried. So Heather took snapshots of Jewel and Spatula to remember them. It's like a visual reminder of the bond that Heather shares with her furry and not so furry friends. So here's to the power of photography, capturing the beauty of life's little moments and turning them into cherished memories. Heather, our fearless foster mom, sitting down with Jewel for a heart to heart chat. It's like a bonding session straight out of a feel good movie complete with heartfelt moments and plenty of warmth. Basically just trying to talk about his uncomfortable mood. Jewel is a hard one to bond with, 
So Heather does need to have a level and understanding to have any chance of getting close with Jewel. Then Heather got another message about another kid needed for fostering, a toddler named Emily. Now don't get me wrong, toddlers are absolutely adorable and full of energy, but let's be real here. There are also a handful and then some, and let's not even get started on the tantrums, the messes and the endless energy. So right now, Heather's saying not today, toddler, not today. And then I got another message about another dog. It was just go, go, come there. Well, folks, just when we thought our household couldn't get any livelier, in comes Shelby. Poor little Emilo found himself feeling a bit neglected. Just left on the floor. I am honestly an awful simmer for that. I was getting really irritated now. So Heather went and vented to Shelby about her problems. Emilo was really pushing Heather's buttons. Just a disaster. And then we got the lovely creative toddler called Vanessa. Vanessa is the best toddler to deal with and she loves to draw and is very creative. It is like she brings sunshine wherever she goes. Vanessa is as easy going as they come. She hardly complains. Always has a smile on her face and is quick to lend a helping hand whenever needed. She's like a ray of sunshine on even the cloudiest of days, bringing joy and laughter to our home in abundance. She also loved to draw and was very creative and loved exploring. One thing I regret was not adopting her because Vanessa and Heather bonded so well together. But still, it was so enjoyable to have Vanessa around at the time. Someone came over with the intention of adopting. And before we knew it, sweet little Vanessa stole their heart and found herself a forever home. And let me tell you, Heather is absolutely devastated and so was I. Her departure has left a gaping hole in our hearts and it's hard to imagine our little family without her. As much as I wanted to hit the restart button and bring back Vanessa, I knew I would lose all my projection so far and there may be another toddler that will steal Vanessa's heart. And that's it for this video. Honestly, the foster family mod by Little Sam is incredible. I mean, talk about a game changer. This mod opens up a whole new world of possibilities, giving us the chance to explore different family dynamics and create unforgettable memories along the way. Whether it's welcoming a new sim or pet into our home or saying goodbye to one we've grown to love, every experience is unique and meaningful in its own way. And let's face it folks, as much as we love the classic have a baby, raise them, have another baby routine, it's nice to shake things up every once in a while. The Sims 4 is an incredible game, but even the best of games can start to feel a bit stale after a while. That's where mods like this come in, injecting new life and excitement into our gameplay experience. Thanks for joining me on this wild ride, folks. Till next time, keep on simming, keep on exploring, and never stop seeking out those moments of joy and wonder that make life in The Sims 4 truly special. Happy simming, everyone.